meeting to order at 7:20. And uh, are there any uh, comments, suggestions, petitions by residents and attendants regarding items not on the agenda? Tom Walsh, chair of the uh, Historical Commission. Chris Lang is not here tonight. He is in uh, New York. I am reading the cover page of the handout uh, that uh, I've just put in front of you. We request the permission to hang 10 to 14 banners size 24 by 54 inches on the lamppost in downtown Westchester for a short period from June through December 2022. Attached is an illustration of the banner design artist Adrian Martinez has given to us with per written permission to use his very attractive picture of Humphrey with his microscope as a main feature gracing the banner. We would concentrate on the banner, we would concentrate the banners on lamp poles along North High Street near the Chester County History Center and on Market Street near the historic Lincoln Building. There is no cost to the borough. The Humphrey Marshall Fund through the History Center will pay for the banners, pay for the erection, and uh, the taking down of the banners. Uh, there also is the page that I sent out before that did not get on the agenda in time, and uh, we will make sure that doesn't happen in the future. And I am finished, and then we'll answer your questions. Thank you. So, and uh, I, Mr. Metric, maybe you can answer this question because I thought in February, we had approved banners, lamppost banners with the art commission. And this seems, no, this is different. Right, but there's only banners that we were discussing for the public arts commission through that company. Uh, we, we scrapped that. That's that's dead. That oh, okay. This has nothing to do with that. Okay. Thank you. Any, uh, Any other questions? Do we need a motion here to do that since it's not on the agenda? No, I don't think this is a, a council action item. Um, no. Okay, I have no further questions, Mr. So McCoy. We can proceed uh, working uh, and uh, it's already been filled earlier. So Perfect. Done. We met with uh, Mural Arts in uh, March and we met with Mural Arts in April. Uh, we did not stay for the entire meeting because we could uh, uh, sense they were mulling and they never really gave us anything. We did make some changes based on their recommendation, and that's it. Uh, you have the documents in front of you. Okay, thanks, I, I just have one quick question. Yes, um, the chamber puts up their winners, Christmas lights, whatever. Um, that, is there any interference with that since they're coming down in December? Okay, thanks. Thank you, Tom. Tom, that was three minutes. That was a total Going over now. Discussion items, April 2022 building and housing monthly report. Great, thank you. Uh, we'll start off here with the, uh, seems like the never ending saga, the Davis oil property. Um, they had the buyer uh, the seller, the estate, and the DEP had a signed tri-party settlement agreement. There were certain aspects of that settlement agreement. They had to go to settlement within seven days of that signed agreement. That didn't happen. There was delays due to the title company. We are still hopeful that they will get this done. They had to amend the settlement agreement to a new settlement date. And I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that in hopefully by june 13th we'll see some movement over there with those buildings beginning demolition um we're not out of the woods yet but we the dep is pretty uh confident that something will happen and they'll get a deal done so that's where we are with uh that project um big big deal in the uh 
building and code enforcement world is May is designated as building safety month. Um, we have some information posted on the borough's website for this with a link to the International Code Council's website. There is a wealth of information on the ICC's website. They have a lot of virtual events regarding building safety month. It's really an international campaign that um, you know, tries to bring awareness and attention to building codes and building safety. So it's actually a presidentially recognized uh, month for the uh, building safety. And uh, you know, we've been doing a lot for the you know, past couple of weeks. Uh, the Melton Center, they are getting pretty close to wrapping up over there. We did have meetings with them to get um, some pre-planning in place for the uh, coordination of the final inspections. I should be over there maybe in the next week or two beginning my final inspections. I know the mechanical inspector has been over there. They've been working on getting their final electrical inspections. So that'll take a couple of weeks for us to go through everything over there and make sure they get everything buttoned up. So. Uh, maybe by June or July, they'll have some uh, certificate of occupancies for those buildings. Uh, obviously, all that site work still has to get done. Uh, moving on to the uh, numbers report here, uh, nothing too crazy. I want to bring your attention to uh, the trash tickets. You'll see that we did not issue any trash tickets in April. That was due to um, issues with the handheld ticketing devices. The parking department had to send a lot of them out for uh, service. Um, so we didn't, my department didn't have access to any for the entire month. Um, we did get eight new ones in and IT is currently working on getting those set up. So hopefully next month we will see um, some better <laughs> numbers for trash tickets. Um, also uh, it's, you know, compliment of staffing issue. We just did lose a uh, code enforcement officer. We're looking to fill that position now. So. Hopefully get somebody in here in the next couple of weeks and uh, we can get them trained, get those numbers back up. But we did issue uh, 31 permits on the month, uh, did issue 20 notices of violation and did uh, 120 rental inspections for the month. With that, I'll take any questions on the report. Last month, I asked about uh, what are the typical complaints are. So, what are the typical citations? How does that break down? Uh, yeah, we yeah, and, and good, thanks for bringing that up. We did issue 34 citations uh, last month. A lot of those citations were related to uh, delinquent rentals, people who haven't um, either complied with the uh, requirement for inspection or didn't submit any other paperwork or pay for that. So that's why you'll see that number is a little high this month. Um, Citations can range uh, anywhere from uh, um, you know, grass and weeds to uh, not complying with an inspection for the rental uh, if there was deficiencies that were found. Um, parking on the parking on your grass without proper you know, parking area. Uh, I mean, there's a, a whole slew of things that we can write citations for. But those those are the typical ones that we would usually see. And in the summertime, it's going to get worse with the grass and weeds. Okay. Uh, item B, I believe that was supposed to be on the agenda for June. Yeah, because Jim wasn't going to be here for May for this month. Oh, that was supposed to be table it. table until June. All right, perfect. Let's go to item number C. Uh, and this is the discussion of the platform extension for Mercado restaurant. On 33 West market street. Uh, yeah, the, the applicant is here. Um, I'll just quickly preface this by uh, giving some background information. They did have an extension of their platform out there last year. It wasn't approved. It, it was approved two years ago. We didn't approve it last year. Um, it was out. It was put out there. Um, they are requesting official approval to have this eight foot or so extension onto their current di approved dining area. Um, it's going to be approximately eight feet from the alley. 
I did ask the police department to review this. They didn't have any concerns with it. And obviously they said it's been out there for the past two years and there were no issues. Uh, we originally had some concerns about the proximity to the alley, but the police were not concerned about that. It is a one way alley. You can only make a left hand turn into the alley off of market street. Um, and you're not gonna have any vehicles coming out of there. So, um. Billy has the photos up there. I can turn it over to the applicant if there's any questions or if they want to provide any additional information. Uh, Rich Muth, I represent uh, the folks at Mercado. Uh, Mr. Gore is correct. Uh, two years ago, it had been to the uh, footprint that we're asking that it be extended to this year. Uh, there was a you know, miscommunication, a mistake on on Mercado's part last year. The the additional area that's marked on the proposed extension uh, was not approved last year, but it was it was put back up by the platform company, and uh, there were no uh, seemed to be any issues. So this year we're to have that approved. I have pictures too. I think. That would show uh, where the the yellow uh, tape there to that yellow line on the curb would, would be where it would uh, that's where it, where it was for uh, last summer as well. Uh, I don't have any questions, Kevin. Is there any anything else we should? Is that okay, Mr. Muth? I don't have any further questions. Any questions? No. I think we're good to go. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Discuss uh, the zoning hearing application. Uh, and this is 995 and 220 Lacey Street. So the only discussion on this is to whether, whether or not uh, Borough Council would like to send the solicitor to this hearing. Uh, it's my recommendation that we do not send the solicitor for opposition of this. I'm fine with that. Any questions? And finally, approve the 2021 Smart Growth Minutes. Any questions about that? All right, and looks like we could adjourn. Kevin, great agenda. I see.